Marco Bonoff, who's a professor of experimental and borehole seismology at the Free University of Berlin. Uh, Marco, for you, I suppose, and the way you study uh, the surface, not as you study the earth below the surface, Turkey must be fairly unique, I suppose. Yes, uh, it's not a surprise uh, in general that an uh, earthquake of this size has happened in this region. Of course, the point in time is always uh, the difficult uh, thing to predict. So earthquakes, as you have just shown in your graphs, uh, are occurring along major fault lines, and the earthquake of Friday has occurred on the East Anatolian fault zone, which uh, is known uh, to be able to produce large earthquakes, lesser than in the last 500 years, but there are probably more larger earthquakes to come in the next years or decades. So what about predicting them? Is there movement in the crust of the Earth that is obviously, presumably, detectable by machinery, but does that machinery not tell us actually when the forces are going to be so great that eventually there will be an actual serious earthquake rather than a minor tremor? Yeah, that's correct. So the loading process is driven by the plate motion that is happening constantly. And at some point, at the, at some point in time, at some point at the Earth, um, the critical strength uh, results in, a, in an instant failure. And this uh, we cannot predict as of today, because that would mean we would need to study every square meter in the underground down to 20 kilometers depth. And we simply cannot do that. Um, we know where earthquakes are going to happen in the future. We can also estimate the size, but the point in time remains to be unknown for the future. So what do you make of Turkey's preparedness for earthquakes? Uh, it has 1,100 monitoring centers across the country, and in 2019, it recorded more than 23,000 earthquakes. But monitoring is only one thing. What about its preparedness in terms of the overall situation regarding the vulnerability of the country towards such earthquakes? Yeah, well, the number of earthquakes is not astonishing because the better you monitor, the more you see, because most of the earthquakes are pretty small and they're not uh, dangerous. Um, in terms of uh, protecting or preparing the main population center, Turkey is doing a really good uh, job and it's, it's an enormous effort. And there are also implementations of earthquake only warning systems underway. But these systems are technologically very, very complicated and complex. Um, and they start to act only if an earthquake has started uh, to rumble. And that then, uh, so an early warning system would try to reduce, uh, or try to warn people to leave their homes and so on, to reduce number of fatalities. This is underway, and Turkey is uh, really uh, at the state of the art here on a global level. And we're also, uh, personally, uh, our institute is involved in major efforts uh, to better protect Istanbul. But again, the best protection against earthquake remains to be a stable infrastructure. So building codes have been elevated, uh, but reinforcing buildings is a really big job, and it's very expensive, but uh, it has to be done. Marco, really appreciate your time. Thank you so much indeed. Marco Bonoff there from the Free University in Berlin.